and welcome back to my channel. I wasn't planning on having this at the start of the video but my camera wasn't focusing so it's focusing on this nice pencil case. Uh, I'm going to share today all of my cold pencils. Now I've been on YouTube now for over a year and a half but I don't think I've actually sat down and shared all of uh, the pencils that I use from watercolour pencils to normal colour pencils to ink pencils, uh, pastel pencils. I've pulled them all out and I'm going to go through each of them and tell you what I like and what I don't like about each of the brands. Now I won't remember the prices of everything. I might remember where I purchased, most of them are gonna be off Amazon, let's be honest. So while this is out, this is my 150 set of Prismacolor and I do keep them in this huge case that's quite messy. And I, I don't ever zip this up, I just have it, because it's quite awkward, this pencil case to unzip and zip back up. So I just keep it unzipped with my other pencil cases on top so as you can see well loved pencils I've got a couple of Prismacolor blenders a couple of Derwent blenders just on the top here my backup white I think I've got yeah, another backup white at the back but yeah I absolutely adore these pencils I remember begging my husband saying can I buy these pencils and they cost me I think £130 the first set that I got and I thought oh gosh that is so expensive for pencils I think, can I buy them, can I buy them and he said yeah um, and I've, I've never looked back as you can, like I said the, they are so well loved and I've gone through especially the cream, light peach and white and there's one of the blues as well that I've had to get a uh, backup of as well but these are so creamy smooth to blend they don't work on all papers there is some uh, cheaper papers that i've not managed to use them on and i've even tried them on watercolor paper i mean pencils in general on watercolor paper are not great polychromos is probably the better one but they are a soft core and they do break quite often these now if i can find one the cores on these aren't fantastic uh, when you're sharpening them, can you see where the wood has come right up? I'm having to get a craft knife and take away that excess wood. But apart from that, they're not all like that, the pencils like this grey one here for instance is perfect. I've not had a trouble uh, sharpening that. But I did, did buy these off a third party seller on Amazon. And I was a bit wary at first because I was reading all these stories on um, Facebook groups about them being there's fake prismas but as far as I'm aware these are not and these are the real thing um, my husband did bring me a couple of singles back when he went to New York and they were the exact same as is the 150 of the original set now I've got quite a few backups of these quite a few like I said because they are my very favorite pencil so I'm gonna have to stack these up on the floor because there's not going to be enough room they're already stacked up as it is so we'll go for the middle price range and this one is quite a high price range. I'm going to do these random and I didn't unzip them either. Wrong way around, that way around. So we start off on this side with the Caran d'Ache Aqua Museum pencils, the watercolour ones. Now don't get me wrong and then on this side as well this is where I keep the Astra um, pastel pencils but we'll get to them in a minute. They are nice pencils these, but because I, I previously owned the Faber-Castell Albert Durers, I still prefer my Albert Durers. I, I have to be honest, um, I would have sent these back with them having such a big price tag. They were like £170-£180 and I'd actually bought them with the uh, birthday money. That was the main reason that I didn't send them back, purely because other people gave me money to put towards them so that was the main reason I am going to still use them the colours are very vibrant they, they blend out beautifully there's nothing wrong with them but for the price I prefer the Faber-Castell ones so yeah if I was to pick between the two I would definitely pick the Faber-Castell ones um, right so at the back we've got the Astra pencils now I did do a little review on these, swatching these compared to the pastel Holbein pencils. I don't own the full set of Holbein. Uh, we'll get to that probably towards the end because the rest at the bottom. But these are beautiful pencils for the price tag. Were they £13, £14? 
and I've just got a couple here that won't fit in the pencil case. I've actually finished, it was in my last month's finished page, it was a Mystic Art Mirrors page and I used these pencils, just them pencils, nothing else. And the result is fantastic. They blend out, they remind me if Prismacolor and then the Polychromos had a baby, that's what they remind me of. That's a, they're not really really soft like the Prisma and they're not really hard like the Polychromos, they're a nice in between. And for a budget friendly pen, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> a budget friendly pencil, I couldn't recommend these enough. They really are nice pencils. These, so I won't zip them back up. I'll do that when I've uh, stopped filming because I, I imagine that'll probably be a bit annoying. So we'll move on to our teaser now. I have uh, at first I was putting labels on the back, but I know what's in each pencil case now before I even open it. So yeah, we've got the Arteza colour pencils, and again, these remind me of a very split down in the middle, Prisma colour and Polychromos. Very nice, very smooth. They don't break. Very nice for colouring her these as well. They are used. They're definitely used, but they're not as used as my Prisma colour. And they are a good price these. But I know that some people. We're having some issues with them um, reacting like a watercolour pencil and I, I've never actually put water on these to test that out um, but I mean I've had no issues whatsoever uh, the customer service as well from uh, Arteza have always been brilliant whenever I've had issues they've always been brilliant so yeah uh, nothing much more to say but yeah nice pencils then for a budget friendly we have got Polychromos and I've got stickers from Laura Rafferty, a Pokemon book and I can't remember that one, I think that was from a diamond, um, uh, a diamond painting shop on Etsy. But again these ones are definitely, definitely well used actually because when I first bought these I didn't go out and buy the full set. I bought a couple of singles and I fell in love with them and then I bought, um, I think it was the 12 set or the 24, I can't remember. Anyway, then I ended up buying the, the full set so I have got backups of these as well. That I just keep in my little drawer. But these pencils are absolutely amazing for her. Uh, I do colour, you know, more or less everything with them but in particular her eyebrows, that sort of thing. I love them, love, love, love them. They are really used, really loved pencils. I just love the feeling of them. They do feel more expensive, they, they, they do. They feel more expensive, luxurious to use than some other brands. I've got a little Derwent pencil here that I got as a, a tester and the Derwent Lightfast, the little pencil there that I got as a tester. But yeah, absolutely love these pencils. I didn't say where I got the the Arteza were from the Arteza website. The Karen Dash ones were from Amazon, and these were a mixture from Hobbycraft and Amazon, I do believe. So we've got two identical pencil cases here. Now I do get mixed up with these because they are the exact same. But let's see which is which, shall we? Right, so this is the ink tents. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with these pencils. I really, really do. I love the way that they lay down and the whole vibe and they really, really do pack a punch for an ink pencil slash watercolour pencil. But doing bigger areas, I can't help but... Um, I can't really blend them out. They look very... I don't know what the right word is. Like blurry, muddy sort of. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'm not managing to, to use them on bigger areas. And I love doing backgrounds. But if I'm colouring a picture, actually, I've just finished one. Let me just get it. Let me just roll backwards. I've got my little cart behind me that I've finished, I keep my finished pages in. I only did this the other night. And I was inspired to do this because I've been watching and talking to Sabrina from Sabrina's Twist of Colour. Oh, I'm so sorry if I got the channel name wrong. But she does a lot of ink tents on her channel. I'll link it 
just up here or is it up there one of the two and all her pages and instagram pages inspired me to do this one and i had to go ahead and add some stickles but the majority of this is ink tents and a bit of uh, acrylic paint for the background because i weren't i weren't about to uh, fight with the ink tents in the background but you see how vibrant they are they really are gorgeous gorgeous pencils i remember uh, before I'd even tried them, I'm going to have to roll backwards to take the boot back, one minute. I remember before even uh, trying these, I was in an art shop in Manchester, I was with my husband, and they had the, the tins out, like open, what we're cellophane over the top, and I was looking at the pencils and I was thinking, what is all the fuss about, they look so dull, and I couldn't, I couldn't fathom it, and I think, I didn't, I didn't buy them that day from that store, and then two days later, they came on the Amazon uh, like lightning deals or it was Amazon Prime Day or something like that. And I got them for really cheap. It was like 60 something pounds for the whole set. So I couldn't pass it up. But since owning them, I should have got my swatch book out. Because really you have to see these swatched out. You really, really do pack a punch. And, um, here we go. So there are all my ink tent swatches, absolutely beautiful colours, beautiful, beautiful colours. So yeah, that is the ink tents. So again, purchased off Amazon. And I definitely need to practice with them more. So the other small one is the, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name, I can never pronounce the name, long way around. Uh, Carbifilo, Stabilo Carbifilo Pastel Pencils. Now, I've not used these as much as I probably should and I only, I've only i only ever used them on backgrounds. You can see that some are quite used. And then these ones, there's some really nice colours actually. Like that. And I don't know if I'm missing one or I've put one back the one way around. I'm not too sure, but I don't like my pencils not being in order. So I think that one's meant to be at the front. Uh, at the back, rather. Yeah, so I can't really... <laughs> talking to myself, though. I can't really comment too much about these because I haven't used them a whole lot. And I've only ever used them on, on backgrounds. Now, I know Kirsty uses pastel pencils a lot, so I need to take some tips off her. Because she did a beautiful skin tone with... Um, I don't think they were these ones, I think they were the Faber-Castell ones that she used. But I'm sure I'd get a similar similar effect. But again, they were Amazon. What else have we got? My lovelies. <laughs> My Albert Jewels. And I keep them in this fun bee pencil case, which isn't actually fun because I've just had a, a nest of bees coming into the house. Because we still got that hole in the front room because of the problems with the ensuite and the, um, the plumbing and stuff. Uh, so they were coming in the house and then falling down into my front room. Anyway, it's sorted now. It's sorted. So yeah, these are my Albert Duras. I adore these pencils. I really do love them. They go down just as smooth as the Karen Dash ones. They blend out beautifully, like really vibrant colours. They're not as vibrant as the ink tents but it's a different product it's a different thing gosh that uh, green gold has gone down quite a bit but sometimes i think you need to sift through your supplies and your boots and move things around remember what you've got because i've not used these in the longest time but I, i'm trying i'm going to try this month to use my ink tents a little bit more and then maybe next month i'll pull these out and use them we shall see but again this was an amazon purchase no, I didn't buy these, um, I didn't buy a single pencil or a small pack, I just went ahead and bought the, the full one and I'm so glad that I did. I'll end up getting the backups of them. Really, really lovely, gorgeous pencils. So we've got three more sets, so if you're still here, thank you very much for listening to me ramble on. We've got Black Widows, again a Laura Rafferty sticker on this one and on the next one. So this is the, it's the full set anyway, I can't remember how many sets there were, there were two skin sets and then was a three or four of the other ones and then the Monarch set 
Now the original, you can see how much that I've used these pencils. It would help if I was in prime. You can see how much I've actually used these pencils. I really have used them and give them a chance. And since purchasing all these different brands of pencils from low to middle to high end, these are not my favourite. They're really, really not my favourite. Like for instance, this one, this space colour. The core isn't even there anymore. It just snapped and snapped and snapped every time I sharpened it. The core's probably halfway down here now. So I had the same trouble with all these tiny little pencils that you can see. I had the same trouble. And then I was trying to colour without sharpening them too much so they didn't break on me. And if you do that, it is hard. It is hard when you've not got a nice sharp uh, tip. But in saying that, I do like the Mono set. They do remind me very much of the Astro ones. And I think I saw these last week for 13 or 14 pounds for the set. And you get all of these and them beautiful shades as well as the greys at the back. I like that they've changed the um, the pencil, so they've got the colour larger on the tip. I can read the the words better because on these ones with the red, I've struggled seeing them. I just think that they're a lot creamier, just a lot nicer. Whether they've changed the formula or the way that they do things, I have no idea. But yeah, I do like the Monarch set. I just don't like the original uh, Black Widow set. Please don't come for me for saying that. <laughs> So that's the Black Widows. I was keeping my Prismacolor pencils in that pencil case for the longest time. So we've got Luminance. And again, I have a love-hate relationship with these. I really, really do. I tend to not use them because I can't read the names. I know that's silly. I know that's silly. The camera probably won't even want to focus. Or are you going to actually listen to me today? Oh, it is doing. I know that looks really clear though, but when you sat here and it's quite dim as well at night and you've got your lamps on, I can't read that. I can't see the names. They have changed the... the was it the portrait set they came out with the 20 pencils? They've changed it to the white writing and even then it's it's so tiny. That's not even white, that's silver. There's a white one. Come on. There's a white one. Yep, yeah, blank white I think. No, that's silver again. You see, I'm... I really struggle. That one's silver. But anyway, some of the writing is white. And for that main reason, I don't use these as much as I probably should. I even went ahead, a couple of chat with Sam, and did a chart. This one. She did a chart, so I printed it off with her swatches. I didn't, I didn't swatch them out myself. So then I numbered them up. And then I individually put a little sticker on each of the pencils and put tape around them because I thought to myself right well if I'm struggling reading them I'll refer back to my chart right well I want this colour and that is like too much hard work that is like too much hard work I just want to sit here and pull out a colour that I want quickly see the name and colour with it not have to do all this whether I need to go and get my eyes tested because I don't have a problem with any other pencil and anything else in daily life I don't know but um, they are really smooth they lay down beautifully the light fastness on these are excellent, I do believe. But for the problem of I can't read the colours, I don't use them enough and I'm not used to using them for skin tones because of the not being able to read the bloody names. But yeah, I will use them and, you know, I will include them in videos when I feel a little bit more confident with them. So and up here, we've got a couple of backups of... I'm not even going to read the names. 242 and... 832 and then these ones here are the blenders which these were a new release around about the time the portrait set came out and they are fantastic i have the let me just reach over again not organized i have these ones and this one's not even used this one came with that one or was it the uh, aqua aqua museum i can't remember anyway these are the full blender and they're okay i find them really really waxy uh, on the page but in saying that I don't know if that's made as the same thing I really like the pencil blender the actual the wooden casing one it is fantastic it's good with um, Prismacolor I've used it with the Arteza I used it with the the Astra pencils a whole by anyway it's really really good uh, blender pencils then 
I think they're about three pound each though, so they're not cheap. They're not cheap. Put this back. And I think I got them from Jackson's Arts or Cass Arts, I think. And I've just got a couple of uh, Derwent drawing uh, pencils. Oh, I forgot. I have got them somewhere. Now I've moved everything around. And since the problem with my knee, I've not managed to sort everything out. And I can't remember where to put them. I can't remember, so I might have to cut the video off and try and find them. Anyway, that was the uh, luminance. Put you on the floor. And then the very last pencils is the whole bands. Now I did purchase the the pastel pencils. And then I got some single that I thought would be good for skin here. And then the 12 bright set. And then I'd got backups for the skins thinking that I'm gonna use these, use all of these and, and I didn't. And I might even touch these backups yet. And these are super duper expensive pencils. Maybe that's one of the reasons that I'm a bit put off. But if it was these or Prismas, I'm going to choose Prismas. I really am. And um, I'll show you again if I can find the pencil case. Which one was it now? I bet you it's right at the bottom. I'm sorry, dog, if it makes you jump. I'll just get my Astro ones at the back. And it's probably that way around. I'm not going to be able to show you properly because my camera's quite far down today. But yeah, the colours are so unbelievably sim similar. I'm surprised I didn't get to um, get a complaint in Astra from uh, Holbein because they are so similar. Even the way that they're laid out is, uh, if not identical in colours. But I'm just trying to think off the top of my head where I've put them down with drawing pencils. I'm just wondering whether they're in a pencil case and I've just not um, I've not come across them. But yeah, I've got a small set of the Derwent drawing pencils as well. I think it's a 12 set uh, and a couple of the white backups that you've just seen. But that's, I'm hoping, I'm just double checking and looking around. But that is all of the pencils that are currently on. I know it's a lot. And I am a collector, an art collector as well as the boot collector and uh, I do try and use all my art supplies and sift through them each month so I'm not getting bored and I'm using everything. But I'll quickly just show you some of the swatches. So we've got the luminance there, beautiful, beautiful bright colours. And then the portrait set, so I was right with the portrait set. The whole band. I don't think I've swatched out them Astro ones yet actually. Polychromos, Prismacolor, Arteza, uh, Black Widow, and the Black Widow Monarch, some markers, gel pens, uh, that's the Ocala uh, Albert Dura, look how beautiful they are, they really are beautiful pencils. And then we've got the Ink Tents. Oh, my distressing. I don't think there's the pastel pencils. I really don't think I've swatched out the, the Derwent drawing pencils. And, oh yeah, yeah, there's the Derwent ones. So there's the colour selection that I've got. Nice colours. But I don't think the pen pastels that I own. Um, there's the Aquarell Museum. Let me just, if I just find... Right, so if I just do this, you might be able to see. But these ones are the Faber Castell ones, and these are the Karen Dash ones. Yes, the beautiful colours. Now, I don't know where the camera cut me off then, so I, I honestly, I'm rambling to myself. Anyway, so there's the Faber Castell Albert Jurors on this side, and then that's the Karen Dash Aqua Museum, Aquarelle Museum, or Museum Aquarelle. And if I just try and squeeze them together and the light's obviously better on this side but to me I just I prefer the Faber Castell I really really do for such a price difference as well I was a little bit disappointed in them but we'll see in the future if I've not used them in a couple of months time they will just I'm just gonna have to sell them because 
this month has been an absolute nightmare for me and my husband regarding things that we've had to pay for and do to this house <laughs> so uh yeah i hope that you enjoyed the video please do give me a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye